I know that you know something that I don't know. It is common sense that people know different things. It's called theory of mind. According to the Oxford Handbook, the theory of mind refers to the cognitive ability to attribute mental state to oneself and others. That simply knowing that someone's beliefs, desires, feelings can be different from ourselves. A classic way to test this is the Sally Ann test. And here's a simple analogy for that. Let's say Sam has a basket and Ann has a bag. Sam puts a chocolate into her basket and leaves the room. While she's gone, Anne takes the chocolate and puts it into her own bag. Now, when Sam returns, where will she look for the chocolate first? Most adults would say in her basket because Sam doesn't know it's been moved. Only after she checks in her basket will she know that the chocolate is not there. But children under the age of 4 or 5 would say inside Anne's bag because they haven't completely developed theory of mind yet. And interestingly, people with autism also show differences in theory of mind. Just to be clear, this isn't about empathy, putting yourself in someone else's shoe. That's a different topic. It's simply about recognizing that your feelings and beliefs can be different from others. Once human thought that this ability is unique to ourselves, like unique to humans, but experiments show something different. In one study, apes watched a scene where a human hides a brick in one box and another person secretly moves it to the another box. While the human is gone, when the human returns, researchers tracked the ape's eyes and found they looked toward the original hiding spot, predicting what the human would falsely believe. Even though it's a simple topic, it goes to show that apes also have a certain degree of theory of mind. Now you know.